do you feel that once we did our interview uh, 10 months ago, about ish, right around there, almost a year ago, once that threshold had been crossed, that interview obviously did very well. It was seen by a lot of people. Was that in a sense frame of like, okay, my story, part of my story is public now in a very public manner. And I, I crossed the Rubicon, like it's out there. I can't go back. I'm not ashamed of it. Not that you have anything to be ashamed of. You're proud of your military career. Did it feel like a weight had just come off your shoulders? Yeah. Yeah, it did. And honestly, um, just like anything else, you, you grow and go like, I, I could have done better. You can help, but that's with anything. Like after this one, I'm going to, a year from now, if you ask me to come back, because you said I get to be one of those guys that comes back. Oh, absolutely. It, I'm going to go, dude, I could have done that a little better. What, Whatever, right? But yeah, and, you know, that was the thing that was on my mind. And then, you know, at that at that time that I needed to sort of, you know, it's, it wasn't just to release that. Like, you know, like it was, there's so many other things. It would be a whole podcast to explain to you my purpose as a as me, right? Um. But uh, yeah, it is like I said, that that rucksack, that 120 pounds of stuff is still like on you when you're done. Um, it, there's these in different ways. It's like, yeah, it's 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 it feels free. It's freedom. It's be free. dude. That's the that's, that's the name of the thing. Dude. That's why, you know, I love I love the name of your ice cream company. I think it's awesome. <laughs> Have you with this kind of you're, you're doing your purpose, you're doing your ice cream company, you're doing some training, you're doing podcasts. You know, you you're on, you're fully in that next leg, next chapter of life. Have you had anyone that is straight up cut ties with you where they're like, I just don't, I don't like the fact that you, that you don't adhere to this code that you, yeah. you don't stay silent. Have you had anyone that's just like, get rid of my number? Yeah. Um, nobody's hit me up and said, get rid of my number, but, um, you know, I've got other buddies that Delta force buddies, I've got other buddies that are experience all kinds of weird shit. And I have experienced some weird things um, with that in, in really, really bad, hateful ways, you know, with like messages and things about my family and like just, yeah, I've had that. And that, that, that's okay. Here's the thing. I still don't judge those guys and get angry. Like I have no, nothing towards it because I know what that feels like. And I hope like that, that when they're sort of done through that, that they will, you know, kind of realize that and kind of wake up to that and, and go, man, you know, and then I'll still be here. It's all good. You know? So um, I think that probably everybody that does anything that where they're in like a little bit of the public eye at all, for whatever the reasons are, might feel some, some of that. Um, you know, I don't know if it's worse for like the, the regular teams, they seem a little more supportive of each other in this and in, in sort of more connected to this brotherhood sometimes. Right. And ours is more like, Hey, it's like, you're tight group of unit like your squadron guys only and everybody else is like you know um not in it or what whatever but yeah so it's it's okay but yeah i have had that do you feel uh i'm trying to think of how to word this like obviously you deployed multiple times like you you spent a long time as a navy seal which is an incredible accomplishment does the weight if someone had just joined seal team six and they're like there for two months never deployed never saw combat wars winding down and they were like, I got a problem with this guy doing podcasts. Do you care? Because like they, they haven't walked in your shoes. They haven't yeah. gone and done the things you've oh, done. Uh, yeah. Sorry. I didn't mean to cut you off. I'm sorry. Well, I said compared to like someone that you might know that you deployed with who, who has been there. Cause I just, I think it's kind of, to me, it'd be like hardened combat guy that I know I'm going to judge his opinion with a little more weight. Guy who's yeah. never been anywhere I've been can quite frankly shut the hell up. That's how I would view it. Yeah, for sure. Maybe I feel a little bit of that. What I try my best to do is go like, dude, whatever anybody's experience is or where they're at, if they're a new guy, no combat, some combat, lots of combat, legend, average, whatever, is that, dude, they're all valid, right? We're machines and we're individuals. So it's 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 valid, you know, but I don't have the time or bandwidth to go worry about it or think about, think about it. Right. And so it is a little bit of an ego thing for a guy that I consider a mentor or like a legendary type dude to, to, um, to validate me, 
yeah, <laughs> like there's a lot more, there's a lot of weight to that, you know, <laughs> and I have a couple of those guys that are still mentoring me in, in life, dude, you know? When you look at what comes next for you in the sense of this journey, this personal growth that you've undergone the last several years since leaving the teams, where do you kind of see this growing even further personally as a man, as a father, as a husband, like where do you want to go two, three, five years? Yeah, dude, I have um, big plans for the ice cream thing. You know, I have a three, five and a 10 year plan and we're just, we're just getting rolling. We're finally, I'm building a shop, my, my sort of headquarters ice cream parlor here in my own community, which happened. I didn't think that was going to happen right now. I was, I thought I was going to be doing what I'm doing for another couple of years to get to that. And then it was like this, this kind of miracle thing happened and it worked out. <laughs> And so I'm going, I'm really in the weeds with that right now. It's really stressful. Um, trying to keep everybody happy, kind of keep everything moving, get, get the numbers right. And the all of that entrepreneur type stuff is, you know, hard and stressful, but it's also like exciting. So I have to try my best to like use, like I said, all my bandwidth without distractions for that. And my family, when I get out of line with that, which I do, um, you have to, find ways for yourself to sort of reset back to that. And you can, I feel that I'll go a few weeks unaligned with that. And I'm like, dude, I feel, I don't feel good, you know, and get back to it. Right. That's a great answer. And I, and I appreciate your honesty. You know, a lot of people try to act like they're perfect and that there's no slip ups. Of it. And we all know that's not true for anyone, you, uh, me, anyone, that's just not the way life works. Last question kind of on this entire topic which i this has been incredible getting to pick your brain on this if you know i don't quite understand how like the exile works i know that you do and i know that people you know from the unit obviously do as well if someone called you and said you know we we're gonna png you or we're gonna you're not welcome around here anymore would you even care at this point i would care right Right. But I would also understand that like, that's just stuff, dude. That's not, it's important for them. If it makes them feel, if there's some resolution or something like that to, in their minds to go like, this guy's forgotten now, fine. You know, but it doesn't erase anything. That's like, dude, we have cancel <laughs> culture going on right now in our it's society. Isn't it the same as that where you're like, I don't, I don't feel great about something that I've been programmed to believe. Right. And, you know, I'm going to go like, I'm going to go tear down this statue, you know, because a couple of my friends were like, let's go tear down this statue. And you're like, I don't even know much about the statue or whatever, but like, let's go, you know, it's, it's the same sort of, that might've been a bad analogy, but it's the same sort of vibe as that. And so like, that's okay. Right. But like I said, you, once you figure that shit out, it's, you're just to yourself, you're unstoppable. Right. So it doesn't matter. That's my point is it's, it's kind of a, a little bit of a waste of time when there's other problems that are actually related to that to, to, to get after right now. I, lo I love it. I, I, your answers have absolutely been, you've been crushing this. And, and <laughs> you, you, you said kind of what my thought was too. It's the whole PNG thing. And again, I was never in the military, so I don't, I don't quite understand it. I haven't but been it's like, by the way. Oh, so, no, I know. I, I yeah, know. I know. I know. I know you. Know. I know you, I know you haven't, I know, but yeah, that's some other like thing, some other little things, but um, that like, that's, that's more of a big official thing, you know, like, and, that, a, and, and, and that's becoming pretty big on the, I, I I'm sure you know this, that's becoming increasingly common on the army side for a whole. Yes. <laughs> yes. Right. But it's like vacating wins in a sport. It's like, we all watch those games. We know who won those games. Like you can yeah. technically say they didn't happen. It doesn't change yeah. anything in reality whatsoever. So that's kind of my view. And the last thing, let me drink a little bit of water quickly. Yeah, yeah. 